I want to take you to a different kind of crime scene, and it is the apartment of Julia Fox. Reminding you who Julia Fox is, you guys. She is the woman who dated Kanye West for about a week and is now stretching it into a career. She doesn't care. She's right. Was was writing is writing a book about their little romantic. I'm saying it's a week. I'm being hyperbolic in a sense. Maybe it was two months tops. But yeah, this is now she's got quite a following on TikTok. She gets millions of views for doing and saying all types of weird stuff because TikTok is a place for weird people. She fits right in. And this time she decided to show her apartment, show them around her New York City apartment, which she claims is tiny because she doesn't like excessive displays of wealth, which makes sense because, you know, she dated Kanye West and he gifted her tons of Balenciaga, which I guess is cheap. Take a listen. Okay, I never thought in a million years that I would do this, but I do believe in maximum transparency. And so I'm gonna give you guys an apartment tour. And this is my kitchen area. Don't judge me. I know, oh, cotton candy machine. I know it's really messy. I also have shoe boxes in the kitchen, which is very common for New Yorkers. This is Valentino's room. Um, I put the most effort in this room, I think. I put a little loft and I really wanted him to have a cute room. However, he does not hang out in here at all. He only wants to be in mama's room. He like doesn't even sleep in there. He sleeps in bed with me. Yeah, we're co-sleepers, sue me, I don't care. Anyway, that's the whole apartment. And we're back in this room. For me personally, I just, I don't like excessive displays of wealth. They make me feel it, uh, icky. Um, you know, especially people that have really big houses. It's just really wasteful when there's so many homeless people in this country. And like, I just, I'm, I'm not really like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, we do have a little, uh, small mouse problem, but you know, it, it's a, it's a problem depending on how you look at it. You know, I kind of let them rock. I appreciate that they, um, cl at night while we're sleeping, come out and clean up the crumbs that my son drops on the floor. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to evict the mice anytime soon. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much. Uh, before I forget, these are my sisters, Jana and Harmony. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to say is that there's nothing objectively wrong with living in a tiny apartment in Manhattan. Been there, done that. She said she's in New York, lived there seven years of my life. Never have I ever lived like she lives. Uh, she's absolutely making up the fact that people have a bunch of shoes in their kitchen. Are you kidding me? I've never seen that once in my seven years of living in Manhattan. Have I ever seen that? I was born in New York. My entire family lives in New York. No one keeps shoes in their kitchen. She's an absolute slob. That's the truth. doesn't matter how much money you have, rich or poor, to live like she lives. She is a slob. That's just what it is. And she's trying to wear it like a, like a badge of honor and to show that she's virtuous. And she's just like you, TikTokers. She doesn't clean her room. She has shoes in her kitchen. She's completely disorganized. And it's just so unambitious. And she's dressing it up as virtuous because she doesn't like she doesn't like when people show off their wealth. She's so grossed out by big houses. That's a lie. That's absolutely a lie. Was she so grossed out when she was dating Kanye West by big houses and by wealth when he was gifting her with all of that Balenciaga? No. Why don't you tell the truth, Julia? You're a bit dirty. You're a bit of a slob. And at the moment right now, you can't afford anything more than this apartment, which is fine. You're not needing to afford something bigger than that apartment. But by the way, the apartment is nice. It's just her stuff in it that is disgusting. If she gave it a good clean and kept it organized, and, and if she maybe just read chapters one through three of Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules, she may have a different outlook on life. But I will guarantee you all the comments telling her that she's so brave and people are sharing their disgusting bedrooms and being like, I haven't cleaned my room in three years. Thank you for letting me know that it's normal. It's normal not to clean your bedroom. Thank you so much, Julie. You're so relatable. I love it. Because that is the world that we live in today. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Next portion of the show is going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. I'm going to be reading your comments plus answering your questions. So if you're not a member yet, go ahead and click the link in the description and subscribe right now.